previously. You can get fat once you're married. You don't have to dry anymore. I'll remember that. <laughs> I'm not in tomorrow, remember, sir. Dad's wedding. Guillaume Barry, but that's just a posh name for an illness. It gets inside your nerves and eats them. Dr. Sullivan, nice to meet you. He's not coming. No. He's not coming. Right. What have I done to us, Sean? What have I done? Is still booked, so I'll disappear off for a couple of weeks. I think a lot of people would be happy. Me disappearing? Your mum's still coming to look after you. I'll be late for school. Sister Beresford, isn't it? <sighs> Porters were saying downstairs it's a good thing Sister Mitchell isn't in. Did you hear about it? Oh, she's jilted. Well, apparently she loses husbands like I lose socks, poor soul. First one did a bunk, second one didn't even turn up. They're all talking about it. And saying, what a shame. What a very great shame. I'm Dr. Sullivan, and, uh, I'm going. No. Tom Swift! You miserable little swine, come here. Thought you'd do a runner before I got here, didn't you? Cuff. Don't you cuff me, you pathetic, low-down, treacherous excuse for a man. God, I've heard of some things in my time. But leaving a woman standing there in a wedding dress while you have a midlife crisis. No woman on earth deserves that. Do you know, I'm glad I divorced you when I did. And if I hadn't then, I would now. And you can shut up. Now you, go on, get lost. Go on, get to France while you still can. And with a bit of luck, hey, there'll be a land blockade or a fish war so they don't let you back in the country. Take him to hell. Welcome back, Mum. Oh. Hiya. Sorry to interrupt. Nice hat. Thanks. I'm starting today. Tasmin Medwar, student. Oh. I'm a bit late. I've been stuck in personnel. Where's the sister? I'd better go and grovel. In the office, over there. Oh, cheers. Only... Good luck. If you need anything, just shout. I'll have to go, love. They'll be screaming for me at work. You tell the doctor what you told me and you'll be fine. But they'll all listen. You can talk in private. Just ask. 
No one else needs to know. One pound fifty, day room, as soon as the doctor's been round. So, you be making plans? <laughs> sort of. Without one of my dad's schedules, I don't know where to begin. Oh, well, last you said your plan was to get a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, but it's not that easy. What, a fit lad like you? They'll be swarming round. I'd be first in the queue. There is someone. I only met her recently. Yeah? Her name's Alison. She joined the leisure centre last week. Brilliant runner. Beat the lot first off. And she's a laugh. She's not exactly pretty, but she's interesting, you know. Yeah, I know. They always are. Keely, this is Tasman. I know we've met. Oh, well, perhaps you can explain the system to her, starting with the importance of arriving on time. Just keep an eye out for her ladyship. I'm going to pass this food around the wards. Can't bear to see a good coleslaw go to waste. And what's it worth? Chicken leg. Now then, Carol, you won't mind if we have a little look? There. Thanks. Carol's in for a pinoplasty. Now, you've seen Dr. Joseph, she'll be doing the op, but I'm always on hand if you've got any questions. I just want my ears to look normal. And they will. We'll make a small tuck in the skin so the ears sit flat. You'll be out of here in two days, good as new. Only... I don't want anyone else to know. The other kids... They'll take the mickey like they do in school. That's why I'm having them done. Your ears look fine to me. Just because other people don't like them, that's no reason to have an operation. Thank you, Tasmin. I'm sure Carol and her parents have considered this at length. I hate them. I want ears like everyone else. Tell the others... Oh, I don't know. Tell them it's your adenoids. Maternity said no. They're all on special diets. I says my sausage rolls are special, but they won't have it. I'll try geriatrics. They won't be happy if they catch us. That's why I'm having the remote, stupid. If a nurse comes in, I'll switch over. They'll think we're watching Richard and Judy. And what are we watching? Nightmare nurse. <laughs> it hasn't got a certificate. It's that full of blood. Seen it before? Well, geriatrics ain't the right place for a buffet, not unless you mosh it up and suck it through a straw. I would try x-ray, but if my bap's got radioactive, I'd never shift them. She's hunting us down one by one, and when she finds us, she'll kill us. This is rubbish. Shh. 